This is a big day in court for the accused Seminole Heights serial killer. Today we will learn if doctors believe Howell Donaldson III is competent to stand trial. Brightside's Emerald Morrow is live at the Hillsborough County Courthouse this morning. And Emerald, what happens today could really hold up this case. Yeah, that's right, Courtney, and that is because if the doctor says that Donaldson does not have the mental capacity to stand trial and the judge agrees this this case could be delayed until he is rehabilitated. Now, the last time we saw Donaldson the third in court, it was because his lawyers were asking a judge to please allow a court appointed psychologist to give him a mental evaluation. They didn't explain why they didn't go into too many details, but court documents showed that defense attorneys believe Donaldson suffers from some sort of mental illness. Now, the report was due back a couple of days ago, and the psychologist should be in court this morning to go over the findings. An attorney for the Donaldson family gave us a little bit more background on the process the last time we spoke. It means if you are unable to mentally participate in your defense, provide information, uh, answer questions of your defense attorney, it could, be, it could prevent the prosecution from going forward at least temporarily or in some cases um, permanently. Now, if Donaldson is found to be incompetent, this does mean that he would possibly go away to a hospital for treatment, but it doesn't make uh, his possible penalties go away. Once he gets better, they would bring him back and the case would go forward. However, again, this could mean a big delay in justice for the families. Back to you.